Hi, this is Jan from Be Visible Web Design. Today we're going to show you how to send custom emails to multiple recipients using your website. So you're also going to use um, two plugins we recommend, Gravity Forms and Gravity Views Import Entries. Um, that's a Gravity Forms add-on. Here's Gravity View website. As you can see, this is where you purchase it. We are um, we do have affiliate links that you'll see on our blog post and in our YouTube description, but we only recommend things we love, I promise. So this website, we did a photo competition, our clients did a photo competition and they had entrants enter their name and their email, and then the judges entered the scores for, and the comments on all the photos, and then they wanted to send uh, the entrance an email with the information that the judges had entered. So you can imagine doing that uh, by cutting and pasting would be a nightmare. So what we did was we um, got the judges information, downloaded it to a spreadsheet and uh, combined that with a spreadsheet of the email information from the entrance. So then we uh, got the, well, right now I'm just showing you uh, how to set up your um, plugin from Gravity View. So you have to put, remember to put your license key in there for import entries. But anyway, um, yeah, so we put all that information in a spreadsheet. Uh, and then we went in and we created a gravity form to match the spreadsheet. So you may have your spreadsheet in Excel, whatever. You just want your fields in gravity forms for the form you're going to be using for the email to match the columns in your spreadsheet. So that's what we're doing here. Um, if the form already exists, then I would make a duplicate of the form because you want to do this email. You kind of want to start with um, a form with no entries, a clean data set, because if anything gets mucked up, you don't want to import data into an existing form. So hopefully that makes sense. Like everything you want to send in the email, including the person's first name and email address will be in a spreadsheet and then you're going to download that spreadsheet as a CSV from Excel or Google Sheets in our case. And then you're going to use this import entries um, option that will appear after you have Gravity View added to your website. Okay, and then here's where you're going to put your CSV. As you can see, there's that nice box there. Here's our CSV. You can see the columns. Um, these match what we want to put in the email, including the email address and the person's name. So I'll download this as a CSV. It is important if you have a column in your spreadsheet that that exists as a field in the form. Otherwise, it's going to make things uh, messy. So your form should match your spreadsheet. It's okay if your spreadsheet has empty columns for some of the form fields, which we do, but uh, you don't want the other way around. Like you don't want a missing field on the form that, um, and an extra column in the spreadsheet. So yeah, it's easy, easy as this in Gravity View to import the form. And I have a really nice um, display here. It tells you, you know, if it worked. And then here you can see, it, this is mapping the field. So it's saying, hey, we saw a first name. Do you want to map that to the first name column from your spreadsheet? And then sometimes it doesn't know because you, if your labels aren't very close, then um, then it doesn't know. So it will actually uh, ask you to map, choose which field you want to map it to. These were all uh, nicely mapped. I actually in, uh, exported entries from the form, you can do that with a sample entry and then create your spreadsheet that way. It's a nice way to map 
nicely. So you tell it can to continue with import. It's really good. It tells you if there's any problems. Um, and then right away you can view your import imported records or entries so you can see if it matches. And uh, as you can see, we have um, Jacob, Jacob, we have a reverse order for whatever reason from our spreadsheet, but it does in fact match our spreadsheet. So now what's very cool is you can send custom emails kind of with a hack by going to notifications. So I already created this notification, but you would click add new, which I highlighted with the arrow there if you um, don't have a notification yet. And um, you put all your fields in. So you put who you don't want them to reply to, who you want it to show is coming from. And then I've already um, created this because I don't want to bore you uh, watching me create it. But here we use merge tags to pull from the spreadsheet table or the entries that are now on um, in Google Forms. So I'll show you if you haven't used merge tags before. So technical, this is the technical score that we're going to pull for this individual. So you're going to say, okay, use the word technical and then go to the spreadsheet column using, see where I'm over on those merge tags. You're going to pull from this column, technical uh, juror one, and put that number in there in the email. And see, it was a rather long email, but all of these fields we could pull, which is really nice because, as I mentioned, you can't do that in uh, easily in Mailchimp, and you, you simply can't do it with a free account. So, uh, yeah, nice. And then we put our a logo in and a photo with a link on it. Um, anything that it's just like building a post, basically, except for you get to pull those nice merge tags right from your entries, basically right from your spreadsheet and use them in the email. Yeah, I'm just gonna show you quickly that you should have the send to email sent to the email field from your entries or your spreadsheet that you imported. So make sure it's set like that if you're sending it to different um, people. You might have named your, your field or your column a different name than email, but make sure that's set. And then we're going to go back to entries to make the magic happen. So we'll go here and what you're going to do is you're going to, um, you can select everybody. If you want to do a test, then you can just select yourself, maybe put yourself as an entry in the form, which you can, by the way, do post um, import. So anyways, you, I'm going to select all because I've already tested this. And then I'm going to select resend notifications. So we actually haven't sent a notification to these people because we just imported. But um, this basically says, hey, send an e email to these people or resend the, the notification. And then you select the notification. So we um, choose the thank you notification. That's the one I just created with the merge tag. Okay, now I'll just take you to the email. My daughter actually entered the photo competition. I didn't have anything to do with the judging. But uh, anyway, she got the email, actually tested it with her. And this is what it looks like. It looks a lot like the post that I showed you or the notification that I showed you that I created in Gravity Forms as a notification. Uh, there it is with all the numbers and the comments, etc. Yeah, really super useful. I hope this saves you time and, and you find it useful. Uh, it's something you can use again and again if you have that type of business where you're sending a lot of custom emails to people. And uh, as you can see, they don't have to enter the form um, data right on the form. You can actually sort of reverse engineer it by creating the form after you have the spreadsheet and importing entries that way and then using the resend notification um, function to send a custom email. So really great. Hope you like it. If you are going to purchase Gravity Forms or Gravity View, please use our links and have a great week.